I had a uh, few people ask me questions about this bike and what's been done to it and uh, what I thought of it and if I liked it and all this other sort of stuff. It's a 2008 Buell 1125R that I bought in uh, May 2008. I've got about 15,000 miles on it. I rode the first, uh, I'd say the first almost 10,000 miles with the stock ECM. Uh, I decided to try out an HMF pipe, which I, it was okay. It didn't really add much to the power or performance of the bike. It just made it really, really loud, and I didn't really like that, so I put the stock pipe back on. Uh, things people like to do to sport bikes. They like to make the tail look a little neater. You know, the factory license tag stuff usually is pretty gruesome, so... This is a uh, Jardine tail eliminator thing that I put little LED bolts on to make it legal. You can also just drill a hole in the black plastic part there and let the light shine through on it. Uh, that was one of the first things I did. And then I got a thicker saddle because the stock saddle is quite thin and after about a hundred miles you'll want to get off and rest your ass. Another thing I did was is I got these quick release pens from American Sport Bike which make it really easy to take the seat off which is good if you are doing a lot of tinkering. Uh, I took the rear passenger hanger and pegs off okay, to give it a cleaner look. These are all things that you can easily do yourself with tools you have. Now to keep the, the rear brake and rim soot free, I made a little diverter out of aluminum. It's not beautiful, but it really does the job. And uh, before then the rim and the rotor are always filthy. That's one of the things that annoys you about a, the stock bike. Also got these side fairings, which are Buell accessories. And they don't necessarily do anything to the performance of the bike, but I did like the look of it. And uh, then I finally broke down uh, and broke, bought one of the uh, Eric Buell Racing race ECMs. And uh, did that because the fueling that comes from the factory, even with the latest flashes, is very lean. And the, it makes the bike sound tinny and it runs a little hot. And although it's still fun and stuff, you lose a lot of, of the low RPM drivability. The minute I put that race ECM on, I was able to ride the bike at lower RPMs without surging or bucking. I was able to get better fuel mileage. The bike ran cooler, and it was just overall much more responsive, much better throttle response. Now, another thing that people may or may not like are these, these uh, stock mirrors come out, they look almost like uh, the anthers on a moth or something. They're like these huge things sticking out on either side of it. So one thing you can do that's pretty easy is just put on little turn signals to cover the holes and use bar end mirrors. I didn't like the stock factory mirrors. They vibrated and all I could see was my elbows unless I tucked my elbows all the way in with a jacket. Couldn't see behind me and everything was vibrating. So these are little things that I did they don't really cost a whole lot that you know change the outside appearance of the bike and the performance of it to a certain degree and then I did a little tinkering around I I changed the intake uh, air intake sensor it's a temperature sensor which is located about right there okay and what happens is the heat from the road the engine the headers and the radiators gives that a high reading which you would think might give you a lean condition but apparently it doesn't matter because the oxygen sensor speaks last on the fueling of the bike so I put it back to its stock location but for a while I had it located right about here you might be able to see there's a cork there now a black rubber cork well that used to have a grommet and a temperature sensor in it. it didn't seem to make any difference whatsoever so I just put it back to stock then the last thing I did was I removed the inner airbox cover. I removed this trim ring which goes around the filler neck. Okay, 
and I have a K&N air filter in there. And what this allows is to break up some of the reflective harmonic that's in this thing because with this open, this, the harmonic, which is basically sound, okay, comes blasting out of here. It's very loud at wide open throttle. It's almost uh, ear shattering. But at normal riding in a normal clip, you know, when you're going through traffic, what it gives you is the ability to ride around in 4,000 RPM without the bike feeling flat and sluggish. When you roll on the throttle at four grand, it just pulls. And so you can ride in a higher gear, save fuel, and also use that low end torque that's lacking with all the factory airbox and the factory ECM. So those two little changes. Uh, and then this thing vibrates against your body. Like if you lay on this when you're getting down and, and cracking on the throttle, which you probably would do because you want to get under the windscreen, it vibrates like crazy. So what I did was, is I don't know if you can see it, but I I put, uh, you probably can't see it, but I put neoprene foam on the inside, glued it down to the whole surface, and that really deadened the vibrations. It's a little quieter too, but what it really did was is it took that distracting vibration away from my guts when I was laying on it. So I'm much happier with the bike modified than stock. I mean, I was perfectly happy for 10,000 miles riding the bike in complete stock trim, but then I started playing around with it, trying out different things and I'm much happier with the bike like this than it is in its factory trim. And uh, Then of course one thing you can do is you can support Eric Buell Racing by spending 10 bucks or whatever and getting yourself some stickers. The heck, a couple stickers, they always make your bike go fast.